Good evening, students and parents and team. Uh, today's NEET examination. Out of 100, 45 questions are asked from uh, uh, 45 questions are asked from the zoology, and uh, except two questions, 43 questions are from directly from NCRT. Directly from NCRT. In that, 19 questions are taken from first year, and uh, 26 questions are taken from the second year. And difficulty of the paper, if you observe, uh, it's very easy except the two questions. So most of the questions are easy and moderate level. Okay, then we'll discuss the paper. Uh, I have Q6 code. The question number 151, which is given as erythropoietin. So erythropoietin hormone, which is stimulated by the formation of RBC is produced by. Erythropoietin is a hormone which is produced by kidney. In kidney, particularly which cells produces juxtaglomerular cells of the kidney produces this hormone, which acts on the bone marrow to stimulate the production of RBC, to increase the RBC. Generally, this hormone is produced in hypoxic, <coughs> in hypoxic conditions. Uh, when the level of oxygen is less, like uh, when we move into the altitude, uh, higher altitudes. So during uh, altitude sickness, at that time, this hormone is produced. So alpha cells of uh, pancreas, they produce uh, glucagon. The cells of uh, rostral adrenal uh, hypophysis, uh, they actually produce the there's uh, six hormones and the cells of the bone marrow, actually they are hemopoietic cells. It produces all the type of the blood cells. But erythropoietin is produced by juxtaglomerular cells. Now let's see the question number 152. So which of the following belongs to the family Muscidae? So Muscidae, the suffix Idae is the family suffix and Musca is the genus. And which is the scientific name of Musca, that is a housefly, Musca domestica. So the right answer is housefly. Is it not the cockroach, Periplaneta americana, not the firefly, not the grasshopper? So it is Musca domestica, so Muscidae. So right answer is a housefly. Now let's see this, question number 153. Question number 153. So it is question is asked from the animal kingdom. So the list one consisting of scientific names and list two consisting of common names of the organisms. Physalia, Physalia commonly called as Portuguese man of war. Physalia is called as a Portuguese man of war. So here you have two options, A2 and A2. So answer must be between A and C. Limulus, Limulus is a living fossil. It is a living fossil. It is also called as thin crab. So three, so B3, B3. And ankylos tomatiodinale, which is a common name, is hookworm. So option four. So C4 and pinctada, it is a pearl oyster. So D1. So the right answer is a option A. Is the correct one. Yeah. For effective treatment of disease and early diagnosis and understanding its pathophysiology is very important. Which of the following molecular diagnostic techniques is very useful for early detection? So generally there are three techniques are there. What are the three techniques? ELISA, recombinant DNA technology and PCR, polymerase chain reaction. So these are the molecular diagnostic techniques. So here in the given answer, ELISA is the correct one, not hybridoma technology, not the Western blot technique, Southern blot technique. Are generally used hybridization uh, hybridization technique is generally used to couple the uh, probe with the dna and western blotting technique and southern blotting technique for the separation of the proteins and the rnas dna southern blotting for dna western blot from the proteins so which is the molecular diagnostic technique three elisa pcr and recombinant dna technology so here in the given option a is a elisa is a correct one yeah coming to this question number 155 which of the following is an example for hormonal IUDs. IUDs, intrauterine devices, which are placed in the uterus, they are basically three types, non-medicated, copper, and hormonal. Non-medicated, lipis loop, copper, so already here given, it is three, CUT, multi-load 375, CU7. Uh, so these three are copper, copper IUDs. And hormonal IUDs, LNG, 20, levonorgestrel, 20. So that is the right one. Yeah, coming to question number 151, uh, it is botany related question. Yeah, coming to question number 157. 
With regards to insulin, choose the correct option. The peptide is not mature insulin. So mature insulin is that KM stands, not the right one. So this is the correct one. This one is correct one. The insulin produced by recombinant DNA technology has C peptide. No. The insulin produced by recombinant DNA technology has only A and B. So wrong option is B. B is the wrong one. And okay. C peptide. Yes, insulin is produced in the form of pro-insulin, which has A, B, C stand. So this is also the right one. A peptide and B peptide of insulin are interconnected by disulfide bridges. Yes, this is also the right one. Only the wrong one is the right one. So option A is a You can see here. So this is about the uh, insulin one. Now coming to question number 158. Which one of the following organism bears hollow and pneumatic bones? Long bones. So hollow or pneumatic long bones are the characteristic of the birds. That two flying birds, not the flight place birds. Macropus. Macropus is a kangaroo. It is a mammal. So it doesn't have the, any pneumatic bones. Ornithorhynchus, duckbill blattipus. It is also a mammal. So no pneumatic bones. Neophron. Neophron is a vulture, flying one. So flying bird. So it has hemidactylus, lizard, lizard. So in that also there is no pneumatic bone. The right answer is neophron, vulture. The person with AB blood group are called the universal recipient. This is due to. So why we call as a universal recipient? So universal donor means they should consist no antigens on their RBC. Universal recipients means they should not have the, any antibodies in their plasma. Because whenever blood transfusion is carrying out, we look for two things. One is donors antigens and recipients antibodies. If any recipient who doesn't have the, any type of the antibodies, so there's no chances of agglutination of the bed. So that's why AB blood group people, they have both A and B antigen on RBC, but there is no antibodies in their plasma. So that is the right answer. So absence of antibodies in the plasma. So presence of antibodies, no, it doesn't have absence of antigens on this. No, they have antigens and absence of A and B antigen in plasma. Plasma never contains antigens. So the right answer is option B, absence of antibodies, anti A and anti B in the plasma. That is the right one. Okay. Yeah. Which enzyme is responsible for the conversion of inactive fibrinogen into fibrin? So in blood clot, three steps are there. Formation of prothrombin or prothrombinase. Second one is conversion of prothrombin into thrombin. Third step is the fibrinogen, conversion of fibrinogen into fibrin. So it is a cascading reaction. So end product of the first one, it act like a catalyst in the second reaction. And end product of the second one, it act like a catalyst in the third one. So in second, second step, prothrombin converts into thrombin. So that thrombin converts the fibrinogen into fibrin. So the right answer is thrombin. So the end product of second reaction is the thrombin and that converts the fibrinogen into fibrin. Not epinephrine, not thrombokinase, not the renin. So epinephrine, it is adrenal medullary harm, thrombokinase, it uh, mainly uh, clot, uh, it, di uh, it dilates the uh, clots and uh, and renin, it is a juxta glomerular apparatus. So GG cells, it produces the renin. Now we'll see this question number 161. Which of the following statements wrongly represent the nature of smooth muscles? Smooth muscles means communicating among the cells is performed by intercalated tests. In, there are three types of muscles, smooth, cardiac, and uh, skeletal muscles. So intercalated deaths are the characteristic features of cardiac muscle. So this is wrongly representing because communication among the cells is performed by intercalated deaths that is in uh, cardiac muscles, not the smooth muscles. So this is actually the wrong option. Coming to second, these muscles are present in the wall of blood vessels. Yes, they are also called as visceral muscles because they are present in the 
visceral organs like the blood vessels, walls of the blood vessels. So these muscles have no striation. They are also called as uh, unstriated muscles. Yes, smooth muscles are also no striations and they are involuntary muscles also. So these three are right. So the wrong one, intercalated disc, which is present in the cardiac muscle. So option A is the wrong statement. So wrongly present one is this. Okay, coming to question number 162, which is asked uh, about the uh, animal kingdom. So metamerism, segmentation, canal system, water canal system, comb plates, needoblast, sting cells. So metamerism is a characteristic feature of three phylums, annelida, arthropoda, and mollusca. So here it is given only annelida. So A3, A3, there are two options are there. And coming to canal system, water canal system is present in poriferans. There is a unique feature of poriferans. So four, yes. B4, B4, home plates, they are also called as TNEDA. So, uh, Tinophora, home plates, they are Tinophora. Tinophora, why the name is given? Because of presence of home plates. So, C2, C2. So, only option this one. And Nidoblast stem cells, which are the characteristic of cylindrata. Another name for the cylindrata is Nidaria, due to the presence of Nidoblast. So, D1. So the right option is A. So metamerism, annelida, canal system, periphera, comb plates, uh, which are present in the uh, tenophora, nidoblast in cylindrata. Okay. So this is botany question. Yeah, 166. The partial pressure in MMSG of oxygen and carbon dioxide and alveoli at the site of the diffusion. So alveoli, so their oxygen levels are high and carbon dioxide levels are low. So obviously the atmosphere, how much is there? 159 MMSG. When it comes to lungs, it is 104. The partial pressure of oxygen in the alveoli is 104 MMSG. And whereas carbon dioxide is 40 MMSG. So very clearly it is given. So easily can answer. So it is from the respiratory gases. So oxygen, 104 mmSg, partial pressure of carbon dioxide is 40 mmSg. Now 169, 17, yeah. Coming to this question, 169. So Dobson units are used to measure the thickness of Dobson units, DU, they are generally used to measure the uh, this, uh, ozone, thickness of the ozone in the strata. Trophosphere, not chlorofluorocarbons, not the stratosphere. Dobson units are used to measure the thickness of ozone. So option A is the correct one. Coming to question number 170. Read the following statements and uh, correct answers. Choose the correct one. Metagenesis is observed in Helminthes. Metagenesis, alternation of generations, which is observed in Nidarians, not in the Helminthes. So this one is a wrong. In Helminthes, we don't find alternation of generation, polyforming, medusa, medusa forming poly. So this statement is wrong. Echinoderms are triploblastic and coelomate animals. Yes, echinoderms are three germ layers, right? And they are enterocoelomates. So this statement is right. This statement is a right one. Yeah, round worms have organ system level of organization. The first time organ system level of organization is formed in round worms. So this is also the right statement. So comb plates present in tenophora helps in digestion. So here, so you can see that they are actually helps in the locomotion. They helps in the locomotion. So this statement is wrong. Water vascular system is a characteristic feature of echinoderms. So another feature of echinoderms is water vascular system. Whereas the sponges have water canal system, echinoderms have water vascular system. So right answer is B, C, and E. B, C, and E. So option B is the correct one. Yeah, so which is chronic autoimmune disorder of affecting the neuromuscular junction leading to fatigue, 
weakness and paralysis of skeletal muscles is called so myasthenia gravis gout arthritis muscular dystrophy muscular dystrophy it is a genetic disorder related to the uh, gene or protein dystrophin so it is not the autoimmune disorder arthritis it is inflammation of the joints it does not leads to any fatigue or weakness or paralysis gout is the accumulation of uric acid in the joints so this is also the not the right one so right answer is the myasthenia gravis so it is autoimmune disorder in which acetylcholine receptors bind to the uh, acetylcholine uh, bind to the receptors which are present at the neuromuscular junction which continuously stimulate them lead to fatigue weakness and paralysis so this is autoimmune disorder any disease that is due to uh, due to our immune system imbalance then it is considered as a autoimmune disorder autoimmune disorder yeah now we'll see this question walls iud's vasectomy tubectomy these are the different types of the contraceptives and what is the function there so walls walls are generally used by the females uh, they are covered the cervix to block the sperm so entry of the sperm through the cervix so a one only one option is there very easy so iud's what is the function of the iud's they mainly promote the phagocytosis of sperm particularly uh, non medicated iud's so b3 and vasectomy so it is a vasectomy cutting off vas differentia in males removal of vas difference so c2 c2 and tubectomy cutting off fallopian tube so removal of fallopian tube so d4 so option D is the correct one. Option D is the correct one. To question number seventy-four, one seventy-four. Receptors for the binding of uh, sperm binding in mammals are present on. So generally, when sperm is enter into the female reproductive system, first it reaches to the um, vagina, vagina to uh, uterus, uterus to fallopian tube. and there in the fallopian tube first it binds to the corona radiata there it actually releases the enzymes then after that it binds to zona pellucida so receptors for sperm are present on zona pellucida which is covering the secondary oocyte so not the perivitelline space not the vital membrane so it is zona pellucida so the layer which is covering the secondary oocyte that is the right one yeah so which of the following characteristic is incorrect incorrect with respect to cockroach in female 7th 8th and 9th sterna together form the genital pouch yes genital pouch in female cockroach is formed by 7th 8th and 9th sterna so this is a right one so this one it is the right one and 10th abdominal segment in both the sexes bears a pair of anal cerci yes so they have two segmented structures in both males and females that is called anal cerci that is also the right a ring of gastric ck is present at the junction of midgut and hindgut no so a ring of gastric ck is present but not between the midgut and hindgut they are present between the foregut and midgut so this one is wrong and hypopharynx lies within a cavity enclosed by the mouth parts so a cavity is there that is called preoral cavity and which is covered which is enclosed by a mouth parts in that pharynx or tongue is present so this is also the right one so wrong statement c so gastric ck are present between the foregut and midgut but not between the midgut and the hindgut so the wrong answer is this one what may related aspergillus yeah aerial diseases So, what do you mean by venereal diseases or sexually transmitted diseases can spread through using sterile needles? So, you know they should transmit through sexual organs. Venereal diseases, sexually transmitted diseases. So, either blood or through sexual contact. So, it is not using by sterile needles. So, STDs are transmitted through non-sterile needles, not by the sterile needles. So, this is wrong. The statement is wrong. can spread through no transmission of blood from the infected person yes if blood transmission is done from an infected person to a non infected person then it is transmits right 
so infected mother to fetus just yes, this is also right okay coming to kissing and inheritance so inheritance no chance is there but what about the kissing kissing it may be transmit some uh, disorders like herpes simplex virus if the uh, herpes uh, sores are formed on the mouth so chances are there so you can consider this is also possibility is there so b c and d so b c d only so option d is the correct one so third option kissing uh, it is the chances are less but can be consider yeah coming to question number 179 yeah select the favorable condition required for the formation of oxyhemoglobin at alveoli so at alveoli uh, where oxygen levels are high that promotes the binding of oxygen with hemoglobin means it should have high partial pressure of oxygen and low partial pressure of carbon dioxide and less uh, h plus and low temperature so this should required so it is at high po2 and high po2 partial pressure of oxygen low po partial pressure of carbon dioxide and less h plus and low temperature so this is the correct one oppositely is occur at uh, tissues where partial pressure of oxygen is low and uh, carbon dioxide is high h plus ions are high and uh, temperature is high so where dissociation of hemoglobin is occur so formation of hemoglobin is occur at alveoli where partial pressure of oxygen is high and the remaining factors like partial pressure of carbon dioxide h plus and temperature is low a very simple question from the digestion succus enterocus what is the succus enterocus it is another name for intestinal juice intestinal juice is also called as succus enterocus not the gastric juice gastric juice it is a uh, juice uh, it is a uh, secretion of gastric glands chyme uh, par uh, partially digested acidic food pancreatic juice is the secretions of pancreatic pancreas yeah now intestinal juice is a succus enterocus okay across uh, between the male and female both heterozygous for sickle cell anemia the gene what will be the percentage of the progeny will affected or diseased so both are heterozygous both male and female are heterozygous meaning as so it is so what is the chances are there father hba and hba and hbs hbs crossing with mother who is also hba and hbs so this is a genotype of father genotype of mother so they have hpa and hbs two alleles genotype hba hbs so affected means only one time possibility is there means which has hbs hbs so you can see this cross so first one this cross like this normal this cross like this carrier hba hbs carrier hba hba normal hba hbs hba normal only one chance is there that is hbs hbs so it is 1 by 4 it is nothing but that 25% only the chances 25% so when they are heterozygous so chances are 1 by 4 or 25% okay so this is botany question now we go to the bio fortification yeah so where is the sphincter of od sphincter of od is present at opening of hepato pancreatic duct into the duodenum so sphincter of od it is a sphincter which regulate the secretion of bile juice and pancreatic juice so it is present at the junction of hepato pancreatic duct and duodenum so hepato pancreatic duct which is opening to the duodenum there it is guarded by the sphincter of od so gastro esophageal junction so that is cardiac uh, uh, cardiac sphincter junction of jejunum and duodenum duodenum so between jejunum and duodenum there is no sphincter ileocecal junction ileocecal valve is there and sphincter also there so the right one sphincter of od that is present at this region so that is present at this region
biofortification of the crops is explained by the botany lecture okay so this is botany question one more yeah so this is related to zoology junctions junctions so identify the types of cells junction that help to stop the leakage of substances so actually epithelial cells have there are three types of the junctions one is adhering junctions second one is tight junctions and third one is the gap junctions so what is the function of tight junctions they prevent the leakage adhering junction they helps in attaching the adjacent cells and gap junctions for communication so to stop the leakage so which one so that is a tight junction tight junction they stop the leakage another one is a uh, second one which helps in facilitate the communication that is a gap junctions so the answer is d adhering junction they helps in attaching to the adjacent cells so 187 botany question yeah coming to 188 zoology question uh strategies for enhancement in food production so which is a not a step in the multiple ovulation embryo transfer technique moet so in moet what is done so first they'll take it about a, a, a superior female cow cow is fertilized by artificial insemination so generally what they do generally they take up a superior female to that they inject of uh, fsh like hormone so here it is given the cow is administered with lh like hormone lh does not help in the super ovulation super ovulation is occur because of the fsh because of fsh then after that the female co produces 6 uh, to 8 eggs uh, which may be fertilized by a light bull or it can be carried out artificial insemination allow it for the fert uh, fertilization and further development when fertilized eggs are reaches to the 8 to 32 cell cell, cell stage and they take out uh, non surgically and transferred into the surrogate mother so in this only this step here lh it is given that is the wrong one if it is it should be fsh follicular stimulating hormone so 68 cells at a time that is right 8 to 32 cells transfused into the surrogate mother right artificial insemination is also carried out that is also the right one yeah coming to question related to earthworm so it serves as a covering for mouth it serves as a covering for mouth yes what is a prostomium prostomium is a uh, a flap like structure which is present at the anterior side of the earthworm like if it is a earthworm so anterior part the mouth is covered by this flap like structure so which is covering the mouth that is the right one it helps to open the uh, open cracks in the soil into which it can crawl yes that is also the right one and it is one of the sensory structure yeah it has some uh, thar, uh, touch receptors and uh, uh, thermo receptors are there yes it is the first body of segment no the first body of segment is peristomium not the prostomium so here it is given prostomium this first segment is called peristomium so this one is wrong one so right answer is a b c only not the d <laughs> so the right answer so the right answer is a b c option b yeah next we'll see the question number uh, 190 so it is asked in the chapter population organisms and populations and uh, ecosystem adaptation balance rule physiological adaptation behavioral adaptation biochemical adaptation kangaroo rat desert lizard marine fish at depth and polar sea what is the allen's rules allen rules generally it says about the uh, Uh, the warm blooded animals which are living in the colder regions the colder regions they have shorter extremities to to prevent the heat loss from the body so if you observe among this polar seal actually they have a thick coat which prevent the heat loss from the body so allen's rule can be uh, connected to fourth one polar seal so a4 all options are there yeah physiological adaptation so physiological adaptation uh, so what is the physiological adaptation so they show some type of the uh, reactions which helps in uh, adapt in the extreme conditions like kangaroo rat which lives in the deserts okay it uh, 
it does not uses a normal water from the bot, uh, normal water it does not take the outside water but how it uh, meets it meets by taking the metabolic water which is a physiological adaptation so one so for one b1 yes and behavioral adaptation like desert lizard so what it do it shows a uh, sun bath like you know that so whenever uh, the its body temperature is low then it enters into the sunlight and warm up their body and if it is a body temperature is higher than the required one again it moves into the shades okay so this is behavioral adaptation which observe in the desert lizard okay so it is called as a basking so biochemical adaptation so the organisms which are living in extreme conditions so they shows the biochemical adaptations like marine fishes which are living at the very uh, deep oceans they have to face extreme uh, pressure conditions so that can be maintained by undergoing the biochemical adaptation so d3 so the right answer is a4 b1 c3 d c2 d3 so option a is a correct one yeah now you see this now you see this these are the name of the organism which so these are the diseases which is caused by the organisms so filariasis it is caused by ocaria bancrofti a3 only one option that is the right one a3 amoebias is caused by entamoeba histolytica b4 and uh, pneumonia is caused by hemophilus influenza c1 and ringworm it is caused by the fungi called trichophyton so the option d is the correct one yeah so next coming to question number 192 adaptive radiation uh, which is question is asked in the evolution chapter adaptive radiation convergent evolution divergent evolution evolution by anthropogenic human actions first we'll see adaptive radiation what is adaptive radiation so organisms which are uh, present at one region they migrated to the different regions and they they adapted to the new environment so that we consider as adaptive radiation like example for all this it is a darwin finches darwin finches so they go for the adaptive they are the example for the adaptive uh, radiation and what about convergent evolution convergent evolution so here the organisms which are living in the same habitat though uh, their ancestors are different they perform similar function like example wings of the birds and wings of the butterfly both are belongs to two different but they are living in the same habitat that is in the air so their wings helps in flying so they are example for convergent evolution so b3 a4 b3 yeah divergent evolution so like example else the organisms which are at one place move to the different regions and they adapt it to the new environment so bones of the limbs and uh, bones of the man and the whale when you observe they are example for the homologous organs but uh, they perform different functions due to divergent evolution homologous organs are formed which perform different functions so c is 2 and uh, evolution by anthropogenic action so human activities human activities causing the evolution that we can observes in the uh, resistant varieties of plants or animals are producing due to excessive usage of herbicides and pesticides so which are not uh, you know because of human activities they are forming new varieties of these strains are forming so that is anthropogenic action so d1 so the right option is c so a 4 b 3 c 2 d 1 this is the right one which of the following secretes a hormone relaxin relaxin actually produces at the time of the pregnancy to dilate the pubic symphysis to dilate the pubic symphysis which is present between the two pubic bones and helps in the parturition or delivery so who produces a relaxin relaxin is produced by the corpus luteum of pregnancy so not by the fetus not by the uterus not by the graafian follicle 
it is produced by the corpus luteum of pregnancy the right option is d yeah 195 196 yes 196 scapula cranium sternum vertebral column these are the bones and what are the joints are there or some explanation of the bones are given so what is the scapula scapula is a triangular bone which is present at the back side of the or uh, body so a scapula is triangular flat bone a4 so only one option is there easily get next cranium cranium uh, so cranium has fibrous joint because cranial bones are attached by the like cranial bones have sutures sutures are the type of fibrous joints so right option is b b3 sternum sternum it is a flat bone it is also called as breast bone which is present at the ventral side of the body so flat bone sternum flat bone and vertebral column so in the vertebral column between the two vertebras how they are connected they are connected by the cartilaginous joints they are connected by the cartilaginous joints so the right option is the triangular bones cranium uh, the next one scapula and vertebral column so the right option is the c one c right yeah what is this adenosine deaminase deficiency adenosine deaminase is an enzyme the absence of this enzyme is actually required for the maturation of the lymphocytes and this adenosine deaminase is not there then it causes severe combined immuno deficiency is a disorder of immune system so digestive disorder addison's disease dysfunction of the immune system parkinson disease it is a dysfunction of the immune system it is a dysfunction of the immune system so adenosine deaminase is required for the normal functioning of the immune system okay i will see the question number 198 during muscle contraction which of the following events are occur during muscle contraction has zone disappears yes two thin filaments they come closer so because of that h filament disappear so a band is widened no a band will be remain same this is a incorrect one and i band reduces its width yes during muscle contraction when thin filaments they come closer so the distance uh, of i band is reduces yes that is the right one and myosin hydrolyzes atp to release the adp and inorganic pathways during the muscle contraction yes that is also the right one and z lines are attached to actins are pulled inwards yes z lines are attached to actin that is right and during muscle contraction this actin filaments are pulled inwards that is also the right one so which is the wrong one among the all only the b so right one a e a c d e a so here it is given wrongly i think a c a c d e here it is a c d e so that is the right statement oh. so coming to this which of the which of this is not an important component of initiation of parturition in the humans during parturition to contract the uterine muscles oxytocin is a primary one oxytocin is required to occur the contraction even prostaglandin is also required because prostaglandin are also causes a contraction of uterus it causes a contraction of uterus and prolactin is also required why prolactin is required because it promotes the development of mammary glands and production of milk so it is wait for the releasing of milk after the delivery so it also promotes a parturition but progesterone progesterone it maintains the pregnancy and does not allow the uterine contraction so this is the wrong one progesterone is the wrong one but increases estrogen level that is also the right one it also promotes the parturition so this is right this is wrong so entire statement c is the wrong one c is the wrong one yeah coming to this a person goes to high altitude and experience altitude sickness with symptoms like breathing difficulty and heart palpitation yes when a person goes to a higher altitude and uh, higher altitude uh, the person faces the altitude sickness which includes the symptoms of uh, breathing difficulty and heart palpitation this is due to due to low 
partial pressure of oxygen due to hypoxic conditions so due to low atmospheric pressure at higher altitude the body does not get sufficient oxygen in the light of the above statement okay so up to here the state the reason is up to here yeah so a person uh, goes to the higher altitude they experience altitude sickness due to low atmospheric pressure at higher altitudes and does not get the sufficient oxygen so assertion and reason both are right and it is a correct explanation so option c both assertion and reasoning are correct and it is a correct, correct explanation okay yeah one minute uh, we'll see the remaining 10 questions come to this one which of the following which of the following statement is not correct related to the pyramid of energy pyramid of number pyramid of biomass pyramid of energy is always upright yes it is the right statement so you take any ecosystem so pyramid of energy is always upright because it transfer from one tropic level to the next tropic level so gradually it decreases so it is always upright pyramid of number in a grassland ecosystem is upright yes obviously number from producers to the primary consumers secondary tertiary consumers gradually decreases so it is also upright so pyramid of biomass in c is generally inverted yes it is generally inverted because the uh, amount of biomass produced at each tropic level it is gradually increases so that's why it is inverted so pyramid of biomass in c is generally upright that is a wrong one because as it is inverted so it is not the upright now coming to this when gene tagging a targeting involving the gene amplification is uh, attempted in the individual tissue to treat the disease is known as so if anything which is used to treat the disease that is generally gene therapy in gene therapy we introduce a gene into an individual to treat the disease and uh, that's why the right answer is this one why not the other one molecular diagnosis they helps in diagnosing not for treating the disease in safety testing so that is only to check only to check the uh, disease how or what is the condition is there but not to treat the disease in biopiracy it is something related to the, the copyrights of uh, biological research so it is not related to this the right one is a gene therapy so in spite of interspecific competition in nature which mechanism the competing species might have evolved for their survival so generally uh, competition between the two organisms that leads to uh, deterioration of the both the species but if they are surviving meaning is they share the resources so whatever the resources are there if they are shared by the competing organism so then they can survive so the right answer is resource partition resource partition so in predation in mutualism both the organisms they get benefited but uh, we cannot say it is a competition in mutualism two organisms are there so one uh, depends on the other and uh, no harm to them it is benefit to both so we cannot say it is a mutualism and in predation predator and prey so one is benefited one is loss and in competitive release if two competing species are there if you release the one from that habitat other one will increase but not the two so two species or many species are there which are in one habitat which can survive only if the resources are partitioned okay coming to the next one the factors that leads to founder effect what do you mean by founder effect so founder effect is some of the organisms or some of the individuals from a group if they are um, uh, left that population and started a new colony then those are called as a founders and the progeny of the founders have the genes of founders but not to their original population which is mainly explained by the genetic drift so here what happens in the genetic drift uh, uh, you know that's a, the variations in the population is decreases like example we studied about the blood group like a b uh, o a b blood group people in that only o blood group people if they are migrated and started a colony so we call them as a founders so they have only alleles which are related to the o blood group not to the a b and ab blood group so that is because of genetic drift not the mutation not the general uh, natural selection not genetic recombination genetic recombination does not lead to founders effect not the natural selection not the mutations 
okay so the amount of nutrients such as carbon nutrients phosphorus and calcium present in the soil at the given time is referred as it is called as a standing state the amount of nutrients are present in a uh, ecosystem at one one particular time then we can call it as standing state then what is standing crop it is the amount of biomass which is available at each tropic level in an area so it is not the standing crop and climate community so those are related to uh this one so climax and climax communities they are for the ecological succession not uh, the terms related to the uh, this amount of carbon nitrogen and phosphorus climax community and climax organisms yeah what do you mean by amensalism amensalism is a relationship in which a relationship between the two organisms in which one is unaffected but other one is the so one is neutral another one is affected like if you take it uh, uh, the bacterium on agar uh, so bacterium and a penicillium if it is there penicillium can grow uh, but presence of penicillium streptomyces cannot grow so one is harm to the other and other one is unaffected so minus and zero so option c is the correct one yeah in the equation gpp r is equal to npp what is gpp gross primary productivity minus this is a, a, a rate of respiration or respiratory loss gives net primary productivity so what is r in the equation r is gpp minus this so what is r r is respiratory loss it is not the radiant loss retardation factor it is a respiratory loss so in exponential growth curve where it is nt is equal to n not e to the power of rt uh, what do you mean by e e is nothing but the base of natural logarithm which value is 2.718 so nt it is a time of population uh, the population density at time t n not population density uh, at the time zero or beginning e is the, uh, the base of natural logarithm r is intrinsic value of natural increase t is time so the e it is the base of natural logarithm so option a is the correct one Yeah. So nowadays, it is possible to detect the mutated gene causing the cancer. So how can we detect the cancer? We prepare a gene which suppress the cancer, and we go for the uh, our DNA technology, and we prepare a probe which we hybridizes with the uh, a person's DNA. If person's DNA has this gene, mean is. the gene is not mutated so no cancer but if the gene is not there meaning the person has the gene is mutated and the chances of cancer so we go for normal uh, technique like isolation of the cell for first we'll take the cell from the cell isolation of the dna dna is fragmented then separated by gel agar, uh, agarose gel electrophoresis then transferred by southern blotting then on nitrocellular membrane we add the probe and if probe is hybridized meaning is the gene is present so no cancer if there is no probe is hybridized the meaning is the gene is mutated so after that after the hybridization when we observe under the uh, ultraviolet ray, uh, rays if there is a, any uh, appearance of the uh, line indicates that the gene is normal gene is not mutated no cancer but if it is absence indicates that the gene is mutated and chances of cancer mutated gene does not appear on a photographic film as a probe has no complementary with it yes that is the right one so mutated gene does not appear on the photographic film as a probe has complementary if it is a complementary strand is there then obviously it has to appear so mutated gene particularly appears on a photographic film if it is appeared then it is not mutated it has same sequences mutated gene completely and clearly appears on the photographic film so if it is appeared then no chances of cancer only if it is not appearing on the photographic film the meaning is the cancer is occur okay dna fingerprints involving the identifying the difference in some specific regions in a dna sequence and it is called as repetitive sequences it is called as a repetitive sequences the sequences which are repeated many times the those are called repetitive sequences these repetitive sequences may be various type like vntrs strs and they are the Markers for identification of an individual. So, 
not a single nucleotide, not a polymorphic DNA, not the satellite DNA. It is a repetitive DNA that helps in identifying the uh, uh, this uh, DNA fingerprinting. Okay, so with this, we have discussed all the questions, 45 questions of zoology.